Hi there, welcome to this channel. I'm going to invite you to walk with me through a quick process of using color pencils today. For this channel, we are going to do more with graphite and color pencils and also introduce other mediums like charcoal, pen and ink, acrylic, watercolor and pastels, mostly in realistic drawings and paintings. So don't forget to subscribe. Color pencil is one of the favorite among my arsenal of tools. It was the easiest to use when I was a young artist and throughout the years it remains one of my favorites. I'll make a separate video in the future describing the varieties of color pencils that are common in the market and most importantly, the qualities they offer to the artist and during the creative process. Today, I'm using one of my favorite brands, Prismacolor. They have soft texture and leave much smoother blend. It is one of the best in capturing the vibrancy of color ranges. While the mastery in the use of pencils is important for many young and professional artists, we may wonder what are some of the principles that guide artists during the creative process or the painting process. One thing I have learned to master with color pencils throughout my painting career is the use of blocking. For monochromatic drawings, it is easier to pick a tone, but to paint in multiple range of colors the artist must understand the distinctive tonal value of every color available to them. Then you will understand where and when to apply them. I always tell my students that the best way to learn about a medium is to use them. rush through the process until your mastery of the various techniques drives you through with ease. Apply the pencils to understand how soft, hard, dull or vibrant they appear on the paper and the various textures they leave behind. By this you are not going to impose a certain skill on the material, but you put yourself in a position where the material speaks back to you.
try not to put too much pressure on the pencils when you are layering. Give your pencil a fine point when detailing. With practice, you can maintain a good control of the pencil. When I reflect on the treasured experience in using the pencil medium, I am struck by the way the pencils communicate to me. I always have a sheer joy of paying attention to my behavior with respect to the behavior of the pencils I use. All I need to do is to give my pencils the voice to speak to me. amazing videos to share with you so please like comment and subscribe to see more in the upcoming weeks i appreciate your time <laughs>